Hi, Ms. Kolbach here. Welcome back. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you today. And if you like my videos, give me a little thumbs up and let me know. Try to get some more coming for your way. I want us to work on some numbers. Some of my students in my class are still having a hard time with some of these basic numbers. So let's practice them together. This is zero. Zero is a bit, looks like an O, doesn't it? It's a zero. Zero is the hero. Zero means nothing. How many is zero? None. Not any at all. It means zero. <laughs> but zero is important when we get to the next set of numbers. I'll show you in just a minute. But zero. Can you clap zero times? <laughs> Did I trick you? Don't clap at all because zero means nothing. The next number I have is number one. One is easy peasy, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, straight line down, and then you're done. That's how you write the number one. How many turtles? One. One. Just a straight line down for number one. The next number, do you know what comes next? Two. Put your finger here in the air and follow with me. Half a heart and pull it back. Up and around. Stop and then pull it straight back. So you get that nice corner here. Up and around and then straight back. I can write a two just like that. Two, two, like a choo-choo, but a two-two. <laughs> what comes next? Yes, three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's how I write the number three. Say three. Around and around. Oh, if I put a stick here, it looks kind of like a letter B, doesn't it? Her finger in this side. It opens on this side. Around the tree, around the tree. That's how I write the number three. And next number is four. Number four. Down and over down some more. That's how I write the number four. Ooh, look, we have four on the back. One, two, three, four. When you're counting, make sure you touch it and say the number. One, two, three, four. Down and over, down some more. Can you write it with me? Down and over, down some more. That's the number four. What comes after four? Do you remember? Number five. Halfway down, belly fat. Number five, where's the hat? Halfway down, curl it around, pick up your pencil and put on the hat. Number five. Next we have number six. Number six has a circle at the bottom. Curve it around and then at the bottom, number six. Down to a hoop. Six has a loop, a little loop-de-loop -loop at the bottom. Down and curve it around. Number six. What comes after six? Seven. Seven. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's how I write the number seven. Make sure when you do your, write your seven, start here and go across the top. Don't lift your pencil. And slide it back just a little. Across the sky and down from heaven. You want to come across. Stop. And then slide it down for seven. What comes after seven? Eight. Very good. Number eight. Eight. We're going to write an S and close the gate. That's how I write the number eight. Around and twist it back and then around like a racetrack. Vroom, race car going around and around and around. We don't want a snowman when we write our number eight. We want to make it curve and twist it across like that. Number eight. And the last number we're going to have today is nine. This is number nine. Make a circle 
then the line. Make sure when you write your nine, make the circle first. Come back up, close the circle, and then come straight down for number nine. Make a circle, then the line. That's how we write the number nine. Very good. Let's count together before we leave. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You keep practicing and you'll get those numbers. Don't worry. I know you can do it. Thanks for coming in and I'll see you again soon. Hey, come back and we'll work on the next set of numbers, okay? Bye for now.